Welcome back to The Five. Well, are voting rights under assault? Attorney General Eric Holder today uh, addressed the Council of Black Leaders saying so much. But is it really Eric Holder's job to do such a thing? Take a listen to Holder explaining what he said. We're also privileged to have committed partners in and beyond this room who are, in a very real sense, the stewards of our democracy. That means that you have a critical responsibility to help identify and to implement the most effective ways to safeguard that most basic of all American rights. You have a thoughtful voice to add to discussions about voting access. Now, this strikes me as a little bit odd, Kimberly. Now, the Attorney General is supposed to be the most non-political, arguably, person in an administration. They're the chief law enforcement officer sure. of the land. Now, Holder's, I think, incredibly political. But is Very it partisan. his job to address these black preachers? And he was joined also by the ACLU, uh, the Congressional Black Caucus. Is this within his job description? Right. Um, absolutely not. So I'm going to throw a flag on this one to the Justice Department, but it seems to me that they just act with willful abandon. They do whatever they want. They make up the rules as they go along. But this is very partisan. It's political. I think it's improper. Are they going to go ahead and treat with the same, um, you know, lectures, speeches, etc.? Catholic priests, Catholic organizations, or other, you know, Christian groups or people no. that perhaps don't support the Obama administration. That's why I think this is uh, very inappropriate and quite shocking, in fact. Well, that's a good point, Eric. Think about that. Why just black leaders? Mm -hmm. I mean, he came out and he actually said, uh, he told these church leaders that the sacred right to vote, their sacred right to vote is under assault mm -hmm. nationwide. Now, remember, this is the same attorney general that would not investigate the new Black Panthers case when there actually was evidence of right. voter intimidation. Yeah, I, I think that is the hypocrisy right there, talking about access to the last three words, uh, access to vote, last three words in that soundbite was protecting their access to vote. And meanwhile, the new Black Panther Party wasn't prosecuted for what they were doing. We, we had Rick Leventhal on tape getting harassed by black new Black Panther Party people at polling places, completely right. illegal. That wasn't prosecuted, but he wants access to vote. I personally, and I may be really off base here, I really don't care if he does this. I mean, should, am I wrong here to, to worry about whether he goes and, it, and talks to pastors? Uh, no, I mean, he, Bob, here's, okay. here in theory, there's nothing wrong with the DOJ doing an informational mm -hmm. session. I do think it's a little strange they wouldn't open it up to uh, let, Baptist, let's, Presbyterians, let's Tea Partiers. Hold on a second. Rabbis. Context on this. Attorney General John Ashcroft had more people at the Justice Department and the White House had more people in there for meetings than any other White House in history. One. How do you know that? Yeah, because I stu I've got plenty of research upstairs. Why didn't you bring it? <laughs> well, I gave it to Porter. It's right next to, no, it's yeah, right next to the it? research on Ash the price Bob. of, Ash, of abortions Ashcroft, in, Ashcroft in New York. It was a very religious man. I give him that. He did when he was uh, running for the Senate and when he was a senator, pushed for uh, very stringent uh, voter identification laws. He right. had met with over and over and over again with religious Bob. conservative and, and they also started Bob, in defense, the House, the, in uh, the, excuse me, the faith-based initiative. In, in defense of Porter, who just said to me right here in my earpiece, that didn't happen, what you're talking about with Ashcroft? That, that's, that's just flat Can wrong. you answer why they wouldn't open it up to other religions? Why well, does it, I why think is it just they probably black? did. They opened it up to Muslims. But doesn't this look like they're trying to gin up the black vote, Dana? Of course it does. I mean, that's Which that was. I think that was their point. I mean, you could send you could send anybody to go and give this lecture. I mean, maybe people are asking for it. Maybe people want to have it. Um, the <laughs> whoa, where do I start? So the faith-based initiative, but that that was something that was so bipartisan. There was a compromise on all sides to bring people together because government can't do everything. Right. So they wanted to focus on faith-based efforts that could actually supplement government support for all sorts of things, and from homelessness to hunger to addictions and other things like and that. They could get that was not a through Congress. John Ashcroft piece. They did, couldn't get it. The past Office of Faith Based Initiative sat right next was right next right. to me. And so I don't understand like I, I just don't get the the um, raining down on that. Plus Ashcroft has become like this villain. If Ashcroft had gone to a convention of religious leaders mm -hmm. uh, on the religious right to go and say, okay, here's how you can use your voice to help influence an election, to make sure that you protect your vote, mm -hmm. and make sure that you don't run in afoul of any IRS laws, uh, I'm pretty sure there would have been hearings there. asking about it. And outrage But on because the front this is the at the Black Church, I'll try, you can't to, say I'll try to send you, when I got this, the second thing was wouldn't Democrats be outraged if Ashcroft did it? We were outraged when he did do it. 
there were where he know, told, David, went and told David, them David, how they could you, vote. I worked at the Justice Department. I, I was the spoke. I was a spokesperson. You, you, I don't ever remember getting a you, call you, about this. You, and you would you know. Do you remember having a lot of uh, ministers in the White House? Sure, of all stripes. Mm -hmm. So what's you wrong don't. with that? But to tell them how to how they can help people vote? No, no. it tells them how to vote. No, to it's to tell them how they could how government could work with them so that they could enhance their efforts to help people who are in need. Well, yeah, and I, if that's I, why I they came. Yeah, and, and if you look at the polling, Bob, his support w among black churches because of the gay marriage issue and contraception, they're nervous. They're very nervous. Shaky. They need to energize their base, He's and this is one day they can do it with an informational right to vote and seminar. The, and the, some of these laws that are being passed, all right, they're strict on voter abilities to people's ability to vote and seen coming up guess what some really smart people think that getting a college degree might be a gigantic waste of money yes that's what they say we'll tell you about it next on the five